Hello guys, welcome to the video and today I'm gonna do the part 3 of the Logitech Lua um, script tutorial, okay? So, let's actually first download our Lua script, okay? So if you don't know, you can actually download it from our website, okay? Um, remember, we're downloading the tutorial script, the scripts that I'm making with you guys on my videos, okay? Let's come over here to the member page. Remember, you gotta sign up to come to this page. Signing up is free. We have several apps here. I'm gonna come over here to Simple Recoil version 1.1 and updated recently, okay? Um, if you guys haven't seen this video yet, this is the video where I include a toggle safe um, conditional for our Simple Recoil, okay? It's a part two. Okay, so go make sure you check that out before you come to this video. Anyways, let's download this. There you go, we downloaded it right here. Now, after downloading, you're gonna have to import the Lua script. So I'm gonna go quickly over how to import the Lua script. Um, I know most of you guys already know how to do it, but in case you don't, I'm gonna go over it. So I have my Logitech Gaming Hub um, app over here. It's the most updated version, okay? I'm gonna come over here to my G502 accessory. Now, you can, you, I don't recommend you click over here, just come over here to Active Profile. Click on Active Profile right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to the scripting button right here on your desktop profile, okay, right here, scripting. And I already have simple scripts right here, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click edit script and then open this document. Now I purposely deleted everything we made just so I can import the new document. So with this document over here, this is simple script, um, this is script document. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to script, the top left you're gonna go import and then you're gonna import the document okay my document was in my desktop so i brought it to my desktop and i imported it there you go now we have the same script that we made last time if i press non-lock right now i activate it and then i press my aiming aiming button right here aiming button and then my left click right here it's gonna start doing the loop which is the loop right here okay if you don't know how any of this works i really recommend that you go back um to my first video and then go to my second video I really recommend you do it if you want to make your own Lua script. Um, if you ask me any question that I already answered on my previous videos, I will bring you, I will um, tell you to watch my previous videos, okay? So, here we go. So now, today we're going to actually do some more advanced stuff. Today we're actually going to start by creating a recoil table and then we're going to create some functions so that we can actually get started on this properly, okay? Alright, so let's go. So as always, um, I recommend that you keep your your um, the Lua online reference online. I recommend that you keep it on over here, like the documentation, okay. And I also recommend that you keep the scripting API open, okay. Now, if you click over here on helping scripting API, sometimes this doesn't work, so you may just have to type Lua scripting API on Google. There you go. I typed Logitech Lua scripting API, and it brought me to this page, this PDF right here, okay. Cool. So now we have these two pages open. We have the Lua documentation. We have my website over here and we have the um, G series Lua. Now I'm going to close my website because I don't need my website right now. Let's go to the Logitech G series Lua. Now um, I'm going to make this a little smaller. There you go. And I'm going to zoom in over here so you guys can see this properly. So we're going to actually start by um, creating a few key binds. So let's actually Come over to the top, top left. Let's press space a few times. And let's actually name this area by creating a comment. Let's name it mouse keybinds. Okay. Cool. Now let's create a few mouse keybinds that we're going to utilize. Remember, these mouse keybinds are for your mouse, which means my mouse is the G502. I have several G buttons, which are gaming buttons, right? Macro buttons. I have G1, G2, G3, which is my left click, right click, and aiming in the um, and middle click mouse. Okay, I have my G4, G5, G6, G7, G8, G9, G10, G11. Okay, which those are all like side buttons, and then the G10, G11 are the uh, middle click to the left, middle click to the right. Cool. So we're gonna utilize the G4 and G5 just to make it simple, so that most gaming mouses can utilize this. Because I know not all of you guys have the G502. So we're gonna create a local. You're gonna do local G, um, G1 key, which is our first gun. So we're creating a variable that holds a value, which is the value of our first gun, the button for our first gun. I'm gonna put it as four, local G2 key. I'm gonna put it as five. Cool. You can do whatever you want. You can put it as six, 
whatever mouse button you have you can utilize that i don't recommend you utilize left click or right click for this anyways we're gonna do a functions key which we're gonna utilize to change modes for such as basic modes and full mode we're gonna do quadruple mode and maybe a six mode like i know some games like pubg have a six x we're gonna use that do that later on so make sure you subscribe and follow so you get notifications when i upload those videos <coughs> We're gonna do over here local full mode key and we're gonna type the name of the key that we're gonna utilize which is non-lock what this means is basically when we have the non-lock key um function key activated on our keyboard then we are utilizing full mode okay which means that full mode is gonna be um true now that's only gonna happen if we actually want full mode to happen at all so what this over here is gonna do is basically a check now if we have this as false if non-lock is on or not, or not, does not matter. If we have this as true, if non-lock is on, then it's going to be full mode. The gun is going to activate on full mode. Full mode basically stands for, like, for example, in PUBG, if you have your gun fully equipped with attachments, your recoil is usually reduced, which means that's full mode. You have your gun fully equipped, so that's full mode, your recoil is lower. So let's activate a lower recoil table. All right. You don't have to have this. I'm just making it just to make it a little bit, com a little bit complex. We're gonna do over here local toggle key. Um, now remember, this is called local toggle key. We're gonna also create a toggle off key so that you can deactivate the script when you want to. Local toggle key, and we're gonna name it scroll lock. Now, let me actually do something. Uh, by toggle, there you go. So, what this is basically gonna do is this is basically gonna just it's just a way to let you know that when this key is on on your keyboard. When the scroll lock function is on, on your keyboard, okay? Then that means that the script is activated. It's just a way for you to know, okay? Um, and it also serves as a check for us. All right, cool. Now we're going to do a few more things. We're going to do a few settings. I'm going to name this quick settings. And we're going to name... Um, we're going to do the following. So we're going to first explain what quick settings for. So I'm going to do over here, higher values equals equals increase... Pull down and lower values decrease pull down these are just comments by the way so these are comments that's why it's showing as green these are not executed code so which means when the when we execute this the the script the the language is just gonna pretty much skip it it's just a comment okay and now we're gonna explain so quick setting actually is gonna it's basically about the all require times and what does that mean? All required times basically stands for like it does not matter what your your recoil table is, everything's gonna get multiplied by the all required times. So if you want a stronger pull down, you can increase it by 1.5, you can increase it by to two, and that's gonna multiply every single value in recoil table, which we're gonna make in just a little bit by two. If you want a lower recoil pull down, we can put a 0.5 and that's going to multiply every single value in your recoil table by 0.5 of course if, if you put zero every single gun value is going to get multiplied by zero and you know how that ends so all right cool so now let's go ahead and do our actual recoil table this is the fun part recoil table okay um and now on our recoil table what we're going to do is we're going to create local recoil table okay this is kind of like a list i would say um it's kind of like a list, which means it's going to hold several values or a dictionary, however you want to call it. Um, on Python, it's kind of like a dictionary, which means it's going to hold several values, okay? So first here, we're just creating it, okay, with nothing inside of it. Now we're actually going to put things inside of it. So let's do local record table, gun one, all right, gun one. We have the first gun over here, gun one. And then we're going to put a few things inside of it. So what do we want these gun one to have? Well, of course, we wanted to have a basic, right? And we wanted to have a full mode, right? We also wanted to have a speed so that we can um, define how fast the pulldown is going to be, basically, or how fast the interval is going to be between pulldowns. And then over here, we're going to put a comma, comma, and a comma right here. And the basic, I'm just going to put, like, some numbers. These are actual record table numbers. I'm going to put 30, 50, 40, 30. Okay, and then full, I'm going to put um, 60, 70, actually no, full makes, full is supposed to be less, so 20, 10, 10, 20. Speed, I'm going to put as 100. 
Okay. And that's pretty much it. Um, don't worry about this error. For now, just skip the error. All right. So let's come over here. Let's do record table. Gun two. Okay. Let's make another one, and let's call it basic equals true. We can basically just copy that, and then we just boom, and then we just change it up so that we can notice the difference. Okay, over here five, five, four, oops, four and five and then four. One, two, three. Let's show it in over here. Uh, how many values are this? One more value in each one of these. Cool. All right, cool. Now let's press Control S. Now let's check this error out. So over here, the error says specifically, um, local record table is an error here. Well, that's because we didn't define what local record table is supposed to be. Equals. There you go. So the local record table is going to be equals to this. Okay. Which is basically like a dictionary. I like to call it a dictionary because for me, that's what it is. Um, like, for example, this can actually be called anything. Like, literally, this can be called street. And then you have street, right? And then the name of the street, right? Um, Mario Street. Like, literally, like, whatever. And then you have attributes of streets. Like, this is just an example for you guys. That's why I call it dictionary because you can pretty much... It's pretty much a dictionary for me. Uh, I know that's not the right term for it. Uh, all right, cool. So... Now we're going to create some helpful functions. So hopefully you guys understand how this record table works. Okay. So we're creating gun one and gun one is going to have all these attributes. We're creating gun two and gun two is going to have all these attributes. Now we need to have a basic full and speed. Okay. Now you can modify the values in here, but we need to have these attributes right here. Okay. Now full, of course, you don't have to have it. I just have it because I'm teaching you guys um, how to have it, but I'm going to show you guys that you don't have to have it in just a little bit. So we're going to create a helpful functions over here. I comment it out and we're going to create a first function over here which is a helpful function and what this function will do, this function is actually going to go over the full and the basic idea so basically what this function will do is going to check if a certain key is activated if this key is activated then we are supposed to turn on the full mode if the key is not activated such as not lock then we're supposed to turn on turn on basic mode so let's just go over that real quick so you guys can see it okay we're not passing any parameter uh, if is key lock on, okay, so if the key lock is on, remember, key lock is a function key, right? We learned that on the first video, right? If key lock is on, what is it? Full mode key, okay? And we actually have full mode. We are detecting for full mode. Then we're going to return full, okay? And these actually, are, oops, uh, oh, it's good. It's fine. It's just because I didn't put the end. And then over here, we're going to put else return basic. And that's just this function. Well, let me explain to you guys how this function works. Real quick. Uh, I got a syntax error. Oh, yeah. That's because I ended the conditional, but not the function. There you go. Uh, all right. Cool. So this function, what does it do? All right. It's very straightforward. Basically, over here, what this function is doing is this function is going to check to see if What's activated? If to see if full mode is activated, which means to see if non lock is activated on a keyboard, right? And it's gonna check if full mode is actually set to true. Okay? So let's say you're playing PUBG and you have your gun fully attached, right? You want this to be true, okay? And then you wanna also press non lock, which means now we're gonna activate the full mode, which means your recoil is gonna be slightly lower. It's gonna use this value over here, okay? It, it doesn't change the gun, it just changes the value that it's using. Like before, it was using by default, it's gonna use this one basic. And then when full mode is on, when you press non lock and this is true, then it's gonna use full mode right here. It's gonna use this record table right here. Okay, hopefully, you guys understand that. And then that's a conditional if that happens. Now, if that does not happen, if we don't have full mode, if non lock is not on and full mode is off, or full mode is off, then it's gonna do basic. Now, remember, both of these needs to be true, okay? That's why there's an and feature here. So, like, if non lock is off and full mode is true, then it's going to return as false, which means this is not going to execute. What's going to execute is this. Both of these needs to be true, 
which means we need to have non-lock press on our keyboard and we need to have full mode as true right here okay yeah hopefully you understand that um all right cool so now we ended this function over here this function returns a value now we're going to create an extra function now this next function is a little more complicated and this actual is a function that determines the actual recoil and the everything basically all right so let's do this so function uh recoil value okay weapon and duration okay let's just start with that so what is this so these are actual parameters you know remember how in the first video i told you that these are parameters every single time these are default parameters from event right um basically every time any event happens it, the the language automatically put the event in the argument into this and you can actually output this right to know what the event is um right for example right now event profile mouse button price in argument five that's because this function is being activated any every single time we do any event anything any price any release on keyboard or mouse right all right um cool so let me see if i actually turned off oh no okay i thought i thought i stopped recording but it's fine all right cool so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over this so let's go ahead so local mode okay recoil mode basically what this is is we are making sure we set the mode, okay? The we make sure we ca capture the mode, okay, and put inside this variable, okay, right here, okay? Um, local step. Again, that's not the variable, and we're gonna actually save. We're gonna actually save um an information instead of the step variable. We're gonna do math of floor. We're gonna do duration divided by hundred plus one now i'm gonna go over this in just a little bit stretch stretch to stay with me real quick okay if step is greater than five then step five now we're doing this just for this video of course you don't want to actually utilize this um because this is very strict right uh we want to utilize something else later on but for this video we're going to utilize that okay just so you guys understand it i don't want to be too complex for you guys all right, cool. Um, let's just put a little space between this condition right here. All right. Now we're going to do local weapon recoil equals. What is the weapon recoil going to be? Okay. Now the weapon, weapon recoil, just for this video, we're actually gonna, just going to get a one specific value uh, from this table. So let's go ahead and do, we're going to get a value from this table, right? But we're going to get a value based on what mode we are on. So let's do that. Recoil table. Weapon. What weapon are we on? What mode are we on? Right? Mode. And what value do we want to get? So basically, what this is, is we are going inside the recoil table. Okay, get inside the recoil table. This two. What weapon are we, we utilizing? Then that's gonna be that's gonna be set by the user uh input, right? On weapon over here. The user is gonna put that weapon over here. For example, if it's gun one, then gun one is gonna come right here. So now we're utilizing gun one, we get all of these. Now, what exactly do we want to get inside of gun one? We were now gonna look for the mode. What mode is the user on? Let's say the user is in basic mode. Basic mode gets put right here. Okay. And now we are inside of gun one, we're inside of basic mode. Now we have better values to use. Now we have all these values. And now what exactly do we want to use? I'm just gonna go one, zero actually. Uh, which should stand for should stand for 30. Okay, now zero can also mean nothing, but in most programming languages, zero is the first value. Uh, hopefully that's how it is <laughs> here too. <laughs> uh, I never actually made it like that. I just usually make it dynamic because right now that means that recoil, weapon recoil is always this first number. It never goes between these numbers over here. Okay, and that's just to show you guys a few things. All right, cool. Now local weapon basic times equals one now we don't need this um basically what i'm supposed to have over here is i'm supposed to have something saying basic times just like that and that's supposed to hold like the actual value um but now we're not gonna use that for now we're gonna use that in the next video okay but for now we're just gonna keep it simple okay local weapon speed equals we have the speed right here so how do we get that hopefully you already know how to get that it's very simple you just call in 
you close you're just calling that and then you just literally take this off and you put speed it's, it's very straightforward um and now we're gonna capture whatever weapon we own so like gun one and we're gonna capture the speed which is just an integer um cool now uh how long is this video already just check hold on guys one second 21 okay uh okay let's just finish this function um you know what now let's stop right here i don't wanna i don't wanna like i wanna make sure you guys understand everything i'm doing so let's stop right here on oh, next video we continue um i thought this video is gonna be a little faster but i'm guess i just i just can't stop talking so that's why it took so long but um hopefully you guys understand what this is i'm not gonna explain this specifically thing specific thing yet because i want you guys to first see how that's gonna play a role down there in conditionals or else you guys are gonna be confused now this basically what this does is we're getting this weapon recoil is we're getting it's storing basically the first value of whatever mode we are so if we're in full mode the first value is gonna be 20 if we are in uh, basic mode the first value is gonna be 30 if the gun is true same thing first value is gonna be 20 over here and full mode the first value is gonna be five okay um and weapon is given by the user okay and mode is also is given by the user technically sure okay um hopefully you understand that weapon basic times is just something we're gonna use for the calculation now this actually will be very important later on but for now it's gonna keep it as one um let's just finish it up by typing weapon full times okay, so you guys there you go and then local local weapon uh intervals equals weapon speed um so basically over here what we're setting is we're setting the weapon intervals to be equals the weapon speed just so we store it in some other place now do you need this no you actually don't you can basically just return this value right here but just to make it just to make it easier we're gonna do that instead uh and that's pretty much it so for now let's just stop right here remember next video we're catching up on line 55 okay of this script okay so for now stop right here now if you don't understand anything of what i'm doing i know this video i really like went a little advanced um but hopefully you guys understand how this works hopefully you can finish it up this function <clears throat> hopefully you can finish this function by yourself if you cannot it's fine just wait for me i'm gonna upload the next video for you guys as soon as i can okay thank you very much for watching this video have a nice time